Well, hello. In today's video, I'd like to introduce you to a brand new product from Adden Express called the Wix Designer. And what the Wix Designer does is it adds a set of designers to any Wix setup project. These designers allow you to visually edit and configure the file system, the registry, file type associations, custom actions, and launch conditions. Probably the best way to understand just exactly what you can do with the Wix Designer is to create a sample project. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. And we'll start by clicking the new project option. And I'll move to C sharp and we'll just create a Windows form application. And we'll call this sample application. Say OK. Now we're not going to waste any real time doing any fancy design with this sample application because it's really not the star of this video. What we want to do next is click on the solution sample application inside of the Solution Explorer and I'll right click and let's just add a new project. And we'll go to the Wix toolset node and this is only available if you've actually installed the Wix toolset which you'll need to do on your own. It doesn't come with Visual Studio. Uh, but here once I've installed it I can select setup project and we'll just call this setup project. I'll take off the one and say OK. After this project is created, we have a couple options to us now because we have selected the Wix setup project inside of Solution Explorer. We have a set of new buttons. We have the file system editor, the registry editor, the file types editor, the custom actions editor, and the launch conditions editor. I also want to point out that these menu items right here are also available if you right click on the setup project, hover over the view Wix editors menu item, and there you have all of the same buttons. So let's take a look at a couple of the designers and we'll begin with the file system editor. As you can see, the designer looks much like something you might see with pre previous versions of Visual Studio. And what I want to do here is go to the program files folder and I'll expand it and you'll see the setup project that matches our setup project name. And I'm going to right click, choose add and I'll say project output. And here I can choose my sample applications primary output and say OK. And that's added for us automatically. Now, what I want to do is add maybe a file, which I'll just go to my desktop where I've got files, and I'll choose an icon and both this and this text file and say open. And just like that, I've got those three added. As well, if I want, I can add, say, my user's programs menu, and I can add another folder and just say my program. And then in here, I can say, I can create a new shortcut. Choose my primary output and say, OK. And I'll just rename it to my program. And then I'll further, I'll use the properties to further manipulate the properties by selecting an icon. And here I'll just say, OK. And we're done. Real quickly, we've used the file system designer to define our primary output, add a couple of files to the application, and as well as set up a shortcut to our application that will be in the user's program menu after the installation. Now let's switch over to the registry, and I'll move over to the Solution Explorer and click the Registry Editor button. And here we'll see the registry hive, uh, all the different options here, and I want to select here the H key current user, and I'll select a new key. And I will say my program. And within that, with that folder selected, I'll come over and create a new, say, string value. And I'll rename it by right clicking in the context menu. And I will say this as my program's version. And then for the value, I'll move over to the properties. And I'll just say it's 1.0. And you get the gist of how this would work. Uh, I could utilize, I could add keys to the H key local machine, H key users, etc. Whatever is needed to support my application and the rules that I have for it. Speaking of rules, why don't we take a look at the launch conditions editor? And here you can see we have requirements for the target machine, and we can search for the existence of certain things like a file search or a registry search or a Windows installer search. Here I'll demonstrate the add file search. So we have search for file number one. We'll say that it needs to exist, just say in 
the C temp folder. And then for the file name, we could say it's looking for existing license dot text or dot LIC or something like that. And if it exists, then we can say, okay, the property here is file exists instead of file exists one. And then now in launch conditions, I can say I have a launch condition and that the condition is file exists. And then for the error message, we can just say error that if it doesn't exist. And so real quickly, you can set up certain conditions that uh, for the installation to proceed, that these conditions must be met. If not, we can display to the user a certain error. Now we have two other designers to show you. And the first one would be the file types editor, where we can come in, we can add different file types and file types associations. But what I want to show last is the custom actions editor where we need to add at least one custom action to install the primary output of our application. So here I will go to the, to the programs folder, the setup project, and choose my primary output from the sample application and say OK. And then all of our properties, the default properties, are exactly how I want them to be. We've got the installer class. We've got the primary output for the sample application and you know here's to where if you want to add custom actions for commit rollback install you could do that and you can install custom action projects just like you normally would and utilize them within this custom actions I'll hit save and I will close everything and go back to the product dot WXS where I want to show right here one thing we need to do is edit this media template tag within the product.wxs. And I want to set the embed cab property to yes. And what this property does is it tells the compiler to embed the cab file into the MSI when compiled. It's not something that's done automatically. You just need to know to add this attribute yourself. Well, this was just a quick lap around the Wix designer and the different designer tools that we provide to you that allow you to quickly design and configure a setup project for your .NET applications. I encourage you to download it and get started using it today.